Hi, out to go Jackie from Hey Jackie Beauty, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my perfect flat twist out. And so here I'll be showing you the whole setup and how I kind of part my hair to get my twist done, and then I'm going to show you how I do my flat twist, and lastly I'm going to show you the results. So yeah, if you want to see how I do my flat twist, then keep on watching. Also, before we get this video started, I want you guys to make sure that you subscribe to this channel and join the beauty club. We'd love to have you. And also make sure to hit that bell and get those notifications so that when I upload, you'll be aware. So, for the products that I use, I have been using the Jane Carter Solution Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using my oil blend, which is, this one I've updated it. I've added avocado oil. And it's also jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, and tea tree oil. And then I have a little bit left, this is not much left, of the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. And since I didn't have this in the store, I picked up the Curlade Moisture Butter. And this is by Camille Rose too. It's this guy right here. And then to detangle, I have my Modified Dimmin Brush right here. And on the side, I have some extra hair ties. My hair is already in four ribbon hair ties right now. And I have a clip here to kind of just get hair out of the way. Also, I have a comb with a rat tail bottom. Let's see. Let me show you how I part my hair. So I like a side part when I'm doing any twist out. So we'll take this one down. And so for my side part, I'm going to use this little guy. I'm going to kind of go, you can almost kind of see where my hair naturally kind of goes in for the side parts. And so I'll do this and I'll clean it up with the opposite side. So this part right here from the side, I'm just going to clip off to the side over here for right now. So yeah, so what I'll do is I kind of have a clean part right here, and what I do is I just do another part over here. It doesn't have to be clean um, because this is where I kind of want my hair to stop splitting in two directions. From this point on, I want my hair to kind of be up like this, me to the side, and sorry, to be up like this and to be either over here or over there, to kind of just have free motion and range and not to kind of be... I don't want the line to go all the way back here and have it <laughs> be a wedge so far back. So. so I'm gonna split it in half and have this part go down here and this part go up here. So this will probably be two twists and this will be two twists. So there's my side part and those parts. And then in the back, I'm going to do three parts across, three levels. And I mostly do this because of the length of my hair. When I twist up my hair at the bottom, if there's too much hair, it doesn't twist well and it kind of gets puffy and undefined. And so what I do to prevent that is I just twist with less hair. I'm printing three parts, so you got this bottom part, this middle part, this top part, and then I have these two on this side. Okay, so what I do next is apply the products and start twisting. I'm gonna put on a little bit of warm water. Then I'm going to put on the Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. Then I'm going to apply some of the oil blend. Since I have both, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Curlade and a little bit of the Almond Dry Twisting Butter. They're both the same to me, so. And I've actually been just using the Almond Dry Twisting Butter, but it's whatever you would like to use. So that's about the size of the section that I take. I'm going to clip the rest of it back. I like them to be pretty defined, and so I use pretty small sections. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of the Curlade. And then I'm going to my Dylan brush and I'm going to start flat twisting. And also 
also lately what I've been doing um, is smoothing out the ends rather than combing them out and just twisting it to like the very 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 end and then after twisting the very very little bit then I coil. Now I'm going to twist up the rest of my hair and I will see you guys once it is all done and show you what they look like. So here I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how I do my flat twist. So once I get my section ready, I'm going to take a little piece from the top, and that's where I'm going to start my twist. And so I'm going to split that section into two, and then twist to the left three times. And so whichever of the two strands is on the bottom, that is where I'm going to add hair. So as I continue twisting, I stop, add more hair to the twist that's at the bottom, and then keep twisting to the left. And so I continue that until all the hair is in the flat twist. And once that's done, I two strand twist the rest of the way down and coil at the ends. And so here I'm going to repeat this to show you guys how I do it again. So I make a section at the top, split it into two, and then twist a few times with just those two strands. Then I add hair to whichever strand is at the bottom. And I continue doing this flat twist until all the hair is in it, and then I two strand twist all the way down and coil my ends. Alright, so my hair is done. I have these three twists in the middle and this is what I was talking about where having two twists go this way, this twist go that way so that when I take them out they are kind of going in different directions but they blur the line between here and the rest of my hair. And so I have two layers of twists on this side, um, two, two layers right? Yep, two layers of twists on this side right here and a bunch of twists in the back and so what I do once I'm all done sometimes if I'm feeling like it I'll let them air dry but I'm just gonna wrap them up and tuck them away I need to put my ring back on but yeah <laughs> I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys in a little bit okay bye Okay, so I'm back. It's been about two days and I have my hair up under this in twister. So let's take this bonnet off and I'll see how this goes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on my hands and I'm going to run it through my twist and take them down. And I got a little bit excited, so let me clip away some of my twists so that I can reach the ones in the back. So yeah, I think that'll be all she wrote, and here are the results of my perfect flat twist down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Feel free to comment down below if you have any more questions or any suggestions. Would you want me to try a braid and curl, or a twist and curl, or flexi rods? Whatever you'd like me to try out next, just let me know and I will get to it. And don't forget to like this video if you want to see more like this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.